Hi everyone and welcome to another super exciting edition of Real China. Now this week we're going to be taking a look at a very hot actress and singer. Check her out. Ring a ding ding. Now that woman was Fan Bing Bing and in a few minutes we're going to have Cage in here to tell us about some of the many scandals in her life. But before that, let's check out three of her movies. Bouncy actress Fan Bing Bing has gone from a puffy-faced TV bit player to a fully-fledged movie star and fashion icon in just a few short years. How did she get to the top so quickly? Well, I'm sure Cajun will have something to say about that later. For now, let's take a look at three of her biggest movies. And to show you how versatile she is, we've got one set in the past, one set in the present, and you guessed it, one set in the future. Let's kick off with a kung fu epic set during the warlord era of early Republican China. The film in question is Shaolin. It's actually a remake of Shaolin Temple, which shot a very young Jet Li to fame way back in 1982. That was before I was even born. If you're wondering whether the lovely Bing Bing shaves her head and signs up to be a Shaolin monk, well I'm afraid there's some disappointment coming your way. You see, Bing Bing doesn't actually do any kung fu in the movie. Her job, as often happens, is to look hot and then run off. No chance of an Oscar this time around, it seems. Before filming even began, the cast and crew got together for a big ceremony inside the actual Shaolin Temple in Henan Province. I'm not sure if the monks themselves were invited to the festivities, possibly just to hold up posters of Jackie and pose for photos. In order to avoid damaging the real temple, the crew built a copy in Zhejiang Province. This new Shaolin temple cost about 10 million yuan, which was a third of the film's budget. I could have knocked one up out of cardboard and paper for a mere fraction of the price, but nobody ever asks me. Now that we've taken care of the past, let's zip along to the present day with Wilson Yip's 2007 Hong Kong martial arts crime thriller, Flashpoint. Donnie Yen plays a police sergeant who plants his partner, played by the ubiquitous Louis Ku, as a mole in the organization of three Vietnamese brothers. Once again, Bing Bing doesn't get to punch, shoot, kick or chop a single person. No. Her role here, as the busty girlfriend of walking tangerine Louis Ku, is to look hot, pout, scream and generally be a liability. Not really a character for young, go-getting, independent women to look up to, I fear. But the uselessness of Bing Bing's character is inversely proportional to the absolute bone-crunching greatness of Donnie's, which obviously means the bad guys here don't stand a chance. As fight coordinator on the movie, the Big D decided to mix it up MMA style, employing a mishmash of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, Karate, Boxing, Kickboxing and Wrestling. This attention to violence picked him up the prize for best action choreography at both the 27th Hong Kong Film Awards and the 2008 Golden Horse Film Awards. Nothing for his acting, though. In fact, Flashpoint is actually something of a prequel to Sha Por Lung, or simply SPL, a previous collaboration between Wilson Yip and high-kicking star Donnie Yen. This time around, Donnie also acted as producer, alongside the wife of Tsui Hark and star in her own right, Shun Nan Sun. Originally, the film was to have the gritty and decidedly poetic title of City Without Mercy, with shooting planned to take place in Macau. Producers couldn't arrange the 250 extras they needed for a particular scene, however, so the cast and crew returned to Hong Kong and shot there instead. I guess the struggling bit part actors of Macau didn't know they'd be working up close and personal with the lovely Bing Bing. If only Wilson Yip had mentioned her name, he could have had half the population of Macau show up for work. Now finally, let's take a step into the future with the aptly named sci-fi movie, Future X-Cops. This mishmash of Hollywood classics features Andy Lau as a cyborg cop who travels back in time to dispatch a pair of robo-terrorists on an assassination mission. So we've already got elements of Robocop and the Terminator. Throw in a massive solar shield a few decades in the future and you've got a major plot point from Highlander 2 as well. Not sure why you'd want to plagiarize that movie though. Now, despite the liberal amount of borrowing, we do get to see Bing Bing at her bouncy best as Andy's wife in the future. It's just a pity that her job here is to look hot and then get in the way of a fatal explosion. That's right, she dies. And very early on, too. Still, it seems like good motivation for Andy's character. If a robotic nutter killed my Bing Bing, I'd travel across time and space to slap them about a bit, too. 
In order to create the special effects for the film, Andy wore a green jumpsuit which allowed CG armor to be seen on his body. The film was delayed due to a lengthy post-production process in Korea that was meant to boost the visual effects. As for me, I reckon the best effects of the film were the many curves of the delightful Bing Bing. If only they'd shot it in 3D, eh? So that's just about it for our Fan Bing Bing mini movie marathon. If you want to see her screaming, crying, being rescued, or generally just looking hot, check out any of the films from today's show. And if you're something of a fashion buff, you can go online and find her red carpet photos from Khan. Lovely dresses, I have to say. As for me, well, I'm going to go home and watch my copy of Lost in Beijing, which features the bouncy Bing Bing in the shower. You heard me right. That's the kind of fashion I like to see. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, Nati. <laughs> too excited. I am so excited because mm -hmm. today we're talking about Fan Bing Bong. Fan Bing Bing. Fan Come Bing on. Bing. Don't is, make fun of is him. Is that a normal name in China? Yeah, Bing Bing, like Bing. doubling up the There's names. Lee Bing Bing. Come okay. on. Do they have like some kind of rivalry then? Of They've got course. the same name. You are in the same age, both beautiful ladies in the same industry. Okay, Gossip Girl, this is your chance to shine. Who's more beautiful? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. Oh. I still want to survive here. You're both beautiful. <laughs> wow, you could work for the UN. That is diplomacy. Anyway, mm -hmm. you've got to be careful with ladies. You shouldn't compare them because then no. one of them will kill you. Yeah, or both of them exactly. will. Can't win with ladies. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I mm -hmm. want to know, Fan Bing Bing, she is called the Monica Bellucci of China. Monica Bellucci. Now, as you well know, we both like Monica Bellucci mm. for different reasons, I yes. guess. <laughs> okay, you admire her. I yep. also admire her. Okay. Anyway, anyway, Fan Bing Bing, is she the Monica Bellucci of China? I think so. I mean, they both have that kind of look. I mean, she's younger, obviously. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Monica. 20 years younger. Um, but they have that sort of curvy look and old school glamour. Yeah. And I mean, she kind of, Fan Bing Bing, just kind of exploded into the fashion scene. She did, like a couple right? of years ago, right? Yeah. Just she was on all the red carpets, spilling out of dresses, mm -hmm. but in a classy way, not in a Rihanna kind of way. Because right. Rihanna just like literally wears next to nothing or yeah. Gaga, mm -hmm. grim indeed. But I think uh, Fan Bing Bing, she has a lot of class. She kind of blossomed overnight. And mm -hmm. this is why people question him like plastic surgery comes in. Mm -hmm. I when mean, you say when you say mm -hmm. blossomed, let me ask, what part of her blossomed? I don't know. It just she looks bloomed. She I should bloomed. say. Yeah. Okay. Well, she just looked like a like a. She looked like the same person but prettier. Okay. All of a sudden. Well, let's see the old Fan Bing let's Bing. See Look at that. That is I mean, wobbly faced. She's got girl a jelly. next door. I mean, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even say that's an actress face, right? It's not. And then now. Now she's got these sharp cheekbones. Mm -hmm. She's got the bigger nose. The bigger nose. Bigger eyes. Taller nose. So and rumor she has, has it. two massive teeth. Anyway. We're not so much. We no one has said anything about the boob jobs, but mm -hmm. a lot of talks about the padded nose, mm -hmm. the eyeliner, and the intensified eyeliners. Mm -hmm and the chin sharpening. I so heard that in China people actually go to the plastic surgeon mm -hmm. and they say, I want the Bing Bing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the fan Bing Think Bing. Think of that, a plastic surgery mm -hmm. icon. Have you ever thought of doing a Bing Bing? No, thanks. Really? No, I want to look like myself. And I'm not well, an actress. Somebody so has to. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. So in terms of mm -hmm. uh, her getting to the top of the uh, entertainment tree, mm -hmm. I've also heard a lot of rumors that she didn't do it through talent. Well, or she did it through talent, but not through acting talent. All sorts of rumors. I mean, very ambitious girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, rumor has it that she has this history of kind of clawing up the, you know, the industry. Mm -hmm. Close friends with directors, producers, the Hawaii brothers. I mean, uh, it's a messy world out there. Wow, so. this is exactly why I wish that I was a director. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And who, mm, what kind of friends would you make, be making anyway? Well, the only person who works on this show except for me is you. And uh, anyway, I feel sickened all of a sudden. So I got this job from talent, okay? And this is not even like... Well, well let the audience judge. Let the three anyway. people who watch our show uh -huh, judge whether uh -huh, it's talent yeah. or not. Good luck being a director. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, so Bing Bing, she's a big star. She's a fashion icon. She's a plastic surgery icon. Mm -hmm. I also heard something. This was just a, is it, is it a rumor about the blow up doll. Oh my gosh, it's just so crazy. It's so bizarre. Mm -hmm. There's a look, Fan Bing Bing look like blow up doll. So it's true. Well, rumor. Well, she's not happy about it. Oh. I mean, let's take a look at the picture. I mean, what do you think? I have to say, it looks alarmingly similar. I to have her. to say, given Fan Bing Bing's curves, it probably takes quite a while to blow that baby up. 
Oh, God. Have you ever thought of having a blow up doll? No. It wouldn't take it's so long to blow up, but. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't and be me. No one would buy it. But, but anyway. You no, know, it's, it's a delicate situation because, you know, she, her, you know, president. Representatives have said that there will be legal action, mm -hmm. so that's not. Okay, let's let's stick to all the rumor has it yeah, stuff exactly. to avoid the lawsuits. Yes. Anyway, before we get sued, mm -hmm. let's say something nice about her again. Mm -hmm. She had a music career, Mando Pop, and a such things. A brief music career. Okay. And I have a music video. Okay, so before the top five, should we check out one of her extra bouncy videos? <laughs> let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Rounding out the top five this week is musical drama My Kingdom. Taiwan hottie Barbie Xu lights up the screen opposite Wu Chun and Han Gong, who play Peking opera singing brothers in 1920s China. As they battle for fame and fortune, family bonds are tested, and love grows in unexpected places. Sounds gripping. Not sure about the Peking opera, though. It's fast cars, faster women, and good old-fashioned revenge in at number four this week with Drive Angry. Nicolas Cage plays a man who escapes from hell to punish his daughter's killer and rescue his kidnapped granddaughter. Prepare to be entertained, especially by Cage's ridiculous wig. But the devil's right-hand man wants to bring him back. I'm looking for something. You can't stop me. What kind of gun is that? Romantic comedy Love in Space descends to third this week. The sequel to last year's Hot Summer Days features Aaron Kwok and Rene Liu as former lovers stuck together in a space capsule. It's certainly a novel way to deal with a breakup. Let's see if the couple end up back together by the end of the movie. I think I can guess the answer. He rocked the world with Avatar, but now James Cameron is sinking in the charts with his latest producing effort, Sanctum. This cave diving thriller finds a nervous bunch of men and women fighting for their lives under the ground in Papua New Guinea. Let's hope they reach the surface, although then they'll have to deal with dart blowing natives too. Sounds like a sequel to me. Never give up. No matter what happens. You never, ever give up. Sanctum. And topping the charts once again this week is the superhero of the moment, Captain America. Chris Evans takes on the lead role, winning the Second World War and smashing his arch rival, the Red Skull, in the process. It shouldn't be long before some Beijing based filmmaker cobbles together the money for a Captain China movie. Can't wait for that. Now, Mr. Stark. Nay, well, personally, it's for Adolf Hitler to the gates of hell. Your task won't be simple. Who the hell are you? The first of many. Your enemy. So, KJ. Hey. Top five, wonderful. Now, mm -hmm. tell me, going back to Fan Bing Bing, because oh, I can't okay. get her off my mind. Can't get enough of her. Does she? Oh, you sound like a man sometimes. I know. <laughs> yes, you do. Anyway, has she got a boyfriend at the moment? 
Not that we know of. So, okay. mm. so I have a chance. No, you don't. Who knows? If anyway. I don't have a chance, Christmas blow up doll sounds good. Oh, anyway, yeah, of course. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But before we go, you have something to say about ye old uh, iPad, don't iPad. you? iPad. We have an iPad now. We didn't have it last week, but it's we not have ours. it this week. Mm -hmm. uh, well, anyway. Yeah. Um, so you can watch our show on CRI Video. It's an app that you can download to your iPad and you can watch us wherever you are mm -hmm. in the cafe. In the shower, probably not. In the shower, but people will die. <laughs> anyway, um, but CRI video, so. Okay, do they have other CRI shows on there? They do, they do. Yeah. Don't bother with those, just watch oh, Real China. Don't be mean. Okay, okay. Anyway, say goodbye then. See you next week. Bye for now.